there has to be a return to a vision of what Europe could be and a recognition of what institutional reforms at the, Euro, at the level of the Eurozone are going to have to be instituted to make the Euro work. And yet Europe is celebrating the notion that the policies are working because some of the countries that were falling have stopped declining. Well, my response to that is if you jump off of a cliff, eventually you hit the ground. But at that point, your bones are broken. You can celebrate that you're no longer falling, but you can't say you're really healthy. So the question that one has to ask is, why has your performance been so bad? After all, the crisis started in the United States. After all, if you look at Europe's resources today, the human capital, the physical capital, the natural capital is the same basically as it was six years ago. Now, the issue is that the, the, the common currency was a political project but the politics were not strong enough to do what was required to make that common project, that project work. Well-intentioned to bring the countries together, but unfortunately, this halfway house has actually resulted in the countries of Europe never being more divided than they are today. Underlying the failure was an understanding that Europe at that point was not what was called an optimal currency area, a set of countries that are similar enough that they could share a common currency. And so they proposed the idea of a convergence criteria, bring the countries together. But that's where the flaw came in. They thought all that was required for convergence was having a low debt and deficit relative to GDP. Most economists realized that that was a flawed analysis, and history bore that out. But how can we move on? I think Europe is at a halfway house. There are two directions that it can go. Either bring the countries together more, more integration, or the other. Uh, there are a number of forms in the structure of the Eurozone that would, I think, enable it to work. Uh, they would include a common a banking union, a real banking union, most important of which is common deposit insurance, as well, of course, as uh, um, common resolution and common supervision. But it's the deposit insurance which has been put off into the distance, which is the critical feature that will lead to convergence and stop the destabilizing force of money moving from the weak countries to the strong countries and pushing the countries further apart. Europe created this anomalous situation of current countries borrowing in a currency not under their control. Uh, what is needed is euro bonds that would enable the countries bring down their cost of borrowing, enabling the countries to spend more money to stimulate their economies, make investments, uh, investments that would increase not only incomes today but productivity in the future. Uh, there is a need to move away from the austerity policies towards growth policies. Uh, growth policies would be supported, uh, for instance, by industrial policies, investments uh, in uh, new technology, as well as supported by expansion of the EIB, the European Investment Bank, uh, investments in infrastructure. Uh, so those are the kinds of policies, uh, there are others, but those are some of the core policies that would enable Europe, uh, the Eurozone, to go from this current situation of a Japanese-style malaise, but far worse than Japan ever was, into a return to the prosperity that is really part of Europe's potential.